Um, regrettably, um, the mayor is feeling a bit under the weather and couldn't make it, but I know that um, I can speak for her when I tell you that this subject is something she cares very, very much about. And some of you may know um, that I have a long history working with the domestic violence movement in this country. I spent uh, 18 years as a CEO of the Houston Area Women's Center and I'm now privileged to serve on city council. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and the city of Houston employees will be acknowledging it in a couple of different ways. Nearly 6,000 city employees are wearing these purple bracelets. Anybody have the bracelets? Well, hold your hands up and do it. Purple bracelets would say Houston Area Women's Center on them. The idea is for them to be a conversation piece. I encourage city employees and others to wear them until the end of October, to tweet pictures of themselves wearing them, and to talk about why they're wearing them, and to talk about them with friends and neighbors. This Friday, I will join the Houston Area Women's Center in its Wear Purple Day, and I encourage all city of Houston residents to wear purple. Bringing awareness to this issue is critical because there are more victim survivors than we are able to count. And many of these victims are silent and often embarrassed to come forward. I'm wearing purple on Friday and I'm wearing this bracelet today because I'm committed to using the resources that we have at the Houston Police Department and to working in partnership with organizations like the Houston Area Women's Center on both prevention efforts and aid for victim survivors. Together, we can make a difference. The City of Houston has resources for victims of domestic violence through the Houston Police Department and at nonprofit organizations, both of which offer prevention programs and resources for victims. One of the fixtures in Houston that plays a large role in the issue of domestic violence is the Houston Area Women's Center. And I'm pleased that my successor, Rebecca White, is here to tell you more about the programs that they offer. And following Rebecca, Captain Jennifer Evans will discuss the programs and what HPD is doing. But before we get to our speakers, I also want to recognize Heather Ramsey Cook from Congressman Ted Poe's office. Congressman Poe has been a long time friend and has a long history of support to victim survivors. He was a criminal judge for 20 years, and most recently was one of only two Texas Republicans who voted for the renewal of the Violence Against Women's Act. That's particularly exciting for me because I was pleased to have been appointed by President Bill Clinton to serve with Janet Reno and Donna Shalala on the Violence Against Women Advisory Committee and to work to implement VAWA. I also want to personally thank the Congressman for his vote. Please extend my thanks. Congressman Pope also sponsored the SAFER Amendment to the Violence Against Women Act, which provides funds for law enforcement to work through the backlog of rape kits, which is something many of you know we've done in the city of Houston. I'd also like to particularly draw attention to a number of people standing behind me. Executive Chief Offmeyer with the Houston Police Department, Executive Chief, Chief Montalvo with the Houston Police Department, Rania Mancoris with Crime Stoppers, and now it is by and other obviously members of law enforcement, which we thank you very, very much. Um, and now it's my pleasure to invite my friend and colleague Rebecca White to San Diego.